Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I am really feeling my makeup today and the way the sun is just hitting it right like look at that highlight <laughs> anyway yeah so again it is vlogmas and welcome back to my channel yeah so today is another story i don't know why i'm just in the mood to just talk to you guys and today really um and that story is kind of sad, but uh, it's a life lesson, really. And I wanted to, if you haven't seen by the title, if you haven't read but by the title of this video, it is actually about my worst breakup ever. Ever. Oh my gosh, even just thinking about it, like, makes me cry. And I know a lot of times when people talk about breakups, they talk about romantic breakups, but um, this is actually the time... Um, I and at the time I never really said it but it was really my best uh, friend and I broke up and it was devastating <laughs> it was very devastating we had a a misunderstanding that we let escalate and it got so bad that we literally just stopped talking to each other and it was just a shame and I just wanted to talk about it because a lot of the times um, people don't talk about the value of the of the friendships they have and we don't put as much value in our friendships as we put in our romantic relationships and yeah I just wanted to talk about this experience so I won't go into details as to what um, happened but basically i was um i had come back from my my exchange from spain and i was staying with uh at the time i was looking for housing in toronto so i was staying with my with my friend and she had a couple of roommates and things happened and unfortunately um there was some <laughs> there was some mis miscommunication between me and her roommates and people chose sides and because of that we just uh we just separated and we we didn't talk we didn't talk for a long time i don't even know how long it was but even once we started talking again the relationship was not the same and when i think about it it was just it was a very petty situation but i was in my feelings and because i was in my feelings i wasn't willing to admit the role that i had played and i wasn't really re willing to i wasn't really ready to apologize and it was really it was really hard for me at that time and my relationship with that friend was a very dear one to me because i remember i even remember from the time we moved in we lived in the same dorm so we clicked like really fast and just to see three almost four years of being friends and being in university and everything just go down just just like that based on something that was really it wasn't really that it was based on something nonsensical it's that there were a lot of um compounding things that led to the dissolution of our friendship and one of the big things was really just me not being emotionally there or not even being as supportive as I could have in a, her times of me need whereas she had been there for me in the time in my times of needs and yeah it was a it was a very depressing time in my life honestly i can remember i was so <laughs> i was so depressed because we was a lot of the times we spend a lot of the time together and i was so depressed and i just would just cry every day i would just cry every day every single every single day i would just cry and we we eventually mended things and right now I can say that we are friends our friendship is not the same as before we don't live in the same city anymore so it's very we we haven't really seen each other in a long time I would love the opportunity to just apologize 
again even though i have apologized i remember one time we were talking and we were literally saying that we didn't even fight for our, our friendship the way we would have fought for in ways we would have fought for our we didn't fight for our relationship in the ways that we could have even fought because we know that for we know how for example with romantic relationships how we would not have discarded each other as quickly and the fact that we just did that in our friendship was like <laughs> but yeah we did talk about that but yeah i i really i do i do still miss our friendship we talk from time to time we we are in the same online circles i can say that we don't live in the same city but but yeah all this is really just to say that i feel that the friendships that we have the other non-romantic relationships that we have are very important and as the same way we cherish our romantic relationships we should be cherishing our friendships because a lot of the times we don't put as much value in our friendships and we know that humans we are we need community and our friends are a community and just the fact that at that time i i just was not ready to admit that it made me i lost a lot i i definitely lost a lot and it's sad it's there's things that just happen in life and <laughs> it is what it is but yeah i if there was ever a chance i don't know i don't know what i would have done different i really don't know what i would have done different but i would have tried harder to salvage our friendship and not only salvage our friendship just be there in the way that i wasn't that's really what I, that's really what I'll do and if now today I there was a, a a chance for me to be there the way I I I could have I would do it I would definitely do it I would definitely do it <laughs> a lot of things have changed in life but I have also learned a lot from experience the from the experiences that I've had and i it might be late but i recognize <laughs> i definitely recognize the value of our friendship but yeah that's really all that i wanted to talk about it's quite a bit of a mumble it's really just to say it's the holiday times holiday period um holiday periods are not always the most joyous periods for all of us it's a time that you can acknowledge the things that you've done, ways in which you can be a better person. And it's almost a new year. I really don't do New Year's resolutions. My only goal is to be better, a better person than I was the previous year. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Uh, <laughs> see you guys in the next video. Ciao.